All right. Got some uh, sheep's butter here. That uh, was a single milking. And I converted it over into butter. There's a big batch. I didn't rinse this one. I'll press it out very well because I knew that I was going to make some ghee. I'm going to turn it into ghee. Ghee is the most preserved form of, uh, of the milk. And uh, I'm eager to start stocking it away. I got some of the sheep's cheese I'm being pressed. And I got the cheese press upside down to help knit the curds together. Help heat up the curds and they'll knit together into one solid mass. I am going to roast my ram lambs front legs that I brought out of my freezer today, my other little backup freezer. I cut it into thin strips. I'm making jerky out of it. I'm going to roast those front legs, what's left over, under my bed all night. And then tomorrow I can boil it for four hours and make some meaty bone broth. I'm marinating the beef jerky right now. I'll dry it out tomorrow in the sun actually. I'm gonna, it's been really warm out lately so I'll be able to make solar jerky. Be a lot more efficient than trying to dry it out over the stove. It only has like a heat radius of like this. The cream is separating to like a top foamy layer and a bottom crusties layer. In the middle will be the ghee. I can pour off the ghee as soon as I get this top foamy layer off. Get these milk solids off. Cream is super sweet and tasty. Let's see if I can pour it over the lamb and roast it. Mm, that's good. Right, he's almost done separating. And it's got the heavier milk solids at the bottom that are starting to fry up. I don't want them to burn because they're actually pretty tasty if you don't burn them. So I'm gonna pull this off the heat and then decant the oil, pour it off into that jar. a pint of ghee. Mm, look at those crusties. I'm gonna use the crusties and the cream over there to fry up some of my farmer's egg. There you go. So yellow. Combine the two layers into a rich sauce. I'm gonna fry up an egg in. Jimmy eggs and ghee crusties. Oh, I like that perfectly jammy egg. 
Look at that. I freaking love it. Thank you, God. Look at that sauce. Mm. Oh. That sauce is like a... It's really rich, like a hollandaise sauce, but doesn't taste like hollandaise sauce. It tastes completely unique. That is really good. Hollandaise, Guyanese. All right, roast the ram lambs, front legs, under my bed board all night. Right. Lamb legs are roasted all night with the ghee cream sauce on top. That looks super cool. I'll transfer it over to this larger pot that wouldn't fit under my bed last night. Put some water in it and boil it for a couple hours. Make a nice bone broth stew. Meaty one. There's still a lot of meat on here. So I tried to make uh, butter out of sour cream earlier this morning and it wouldn't separate into butter and buttermilk so I decided to try to um, boil it to see if it would separate into ghee and cream. It looks like it's trying to separate but that's not very much oil. It's not separating out into a uh, thick enough layer to do anything with to scoop off. But it tastes good. It actually tastes better now. It is, uh, the sour cream was really good, and this is even better. I didn't even add any salt to it. Let me add some salt below. And they have spaghetti squash. Uh, it's being marketed as like a wheat-free noodle alternative. I can't believe that I'm like 42 years old or 41, something like that, and I have never known that spaghetti squash gets its name from it being like a good pasta substitute is that what I'm is that what I'm learning let's see I'm not gonna boil it in water I'm gonna boil it in my sheep's um, cream I'm gonna boil it in my sheep's cream I'm not gonna boil it in water I'm gonna boil it in my sheep's cream I wonder if that's going to be too much. Too half of it. It looks like it's going to expand pretty well. There are all the water, and then the butter will be left on the outside. Butter and the cream. Oh, and the lamb. So this is all the meat that I was able to pull off of the bones from the roasted, roasted front legs of the ram lamb. Let's see what we can get. Super tender, tasty meat. Thank you, Lammy Rammy. Thank you, God. That looks like a good mix. This still hasn't cooled down. I just pulled it off. That's going to be solid, solid gelatin and fat. As soon as it cools down, this is spaghetti squash pasta with lamb meat and cream. There's nothing like pasta. Not bad. The texture's not as good. The taste is better than pasta. You know it. Gotta make
take the lamage out of it. A hot lamb. Be better if it was my fresh baked bread. Still pretty tasty thing. <laughs>